over there, smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Yeah, Harold hasn't improved in looks in any way. Uh, hello, Harold. What do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. Yeah, you don't sound so good. <laughs> yep, but I'm doing great for being dead. <laughs> I never get tired of the looks when I tell that one. <laughs> okay, alright. So you say the place is falling apart. Well, sorta. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig waller. <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, yeah. That would be bad. <coughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <coughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Good thing you're here to help them. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. Uh, what's, what the hell is a hydromagnet whatever? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Okay, what does it do? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> okay, what happens if you don't get the part? <laughs> If we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. Yeah. Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. Yeah. He has a bright look on life, at least. Hmm. What was the name of the we part? We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere okay. regulator and it needs to be installed Where soon. Where would you get have, one? Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> okay. Vault City wouldn't give you the part, even if it means that the groundwater won't be polluted anymore. Well, it'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> Not much chance of that happening. <laughs> Still, someone could convince them that they should help. They them. shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. We need a hydroelectric yeah. magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some More fuel. Reason. We get our fuel from the Broken Hills. That's a mining community some way south. Okay. I'll... What you need, youngster? Just go over this again, see if I... Some of... I missed some of the dialogue tree options. They usually have some of the options that disappear when you go further into the conversation, so it's always good to check back again. Yeah, where can I barter a resupply? Well, you might try talking a woos over in the harp. You can't miss it. It's just across the way. What you need, youngster? Uh, what is that tree growing out of your head? Jealous? His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. Yeah, right. What you need, youngster? Uh, 
do you know about the Garden of Eden creation kit? Garden of Eden creation kit? A gick, right? Uh, I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. Yeah, thanks. At least we are finally meeting people who actually know about these items we're after. And everyone seems to confirm that we need to find a vault. No one's even suggest, suggested that we might find other ways to get one. Booze, booze, yeah. Tell me about what, yeah, what do you do, Mr. Bartender? Uh, tell me about this place. Not much to tell, really. It's just a bunch of ghouls clinging ten tenaciously to the ass end of life. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, that does <laughs> describes a lot of people, nothing new in that. That may be so, but not everyone has a city full of lunatics thirsting for their blood. Do you mean, those assholes in Vault City, if anyone's going to cap us, it's them. They're fucking crazed. Anyone's not just as fucked up in the head as they are, and they want to kill them. I'd watch myself around them if I were you. Let me ask you something else. I want to uh, tell stories. Tell stories. I've got this great story. It's a real funny. You see, there's this head, right? A head? Yeah, it's a head. But it's not attached to a body. You see, it's been severed. A severed head, I see. Uh, just hold on a minute. This severed head, you see, it's in hell. And it flies around there, you know, in hell. And it runs into all kinds of famous people there. Well, it's doing stuff, you know. It, it's it got things that it wants to do, or maybe it thinks it's far <laughs> forced to do. Point is, it's doing stuff, you know. They're in hell. Oh god, I just can't stand it. Yeah. He seems to be finding his own joke that he can't really tell. Extremely funny. No, you just don't understand. It's all about the severed head, get it? It's funny, how can you think about a severed head in hell of all places and not laugh? Yeah, I need to ask you something. <laughs> Let's trade. Trade, I'm always ready to trade tragic cards. I've got a couple of old box m movies, a black dahlia and some rare earth. Yeah, yes, yes, I'd like to trade. He has nothing to trade. I don't need anything right now. I. Okay, what's this place? <clears throat> Another cheating smooth skin. Yeah, they don't seem to like normal humans. Anti radiation drugs, yes, thank you. Yeah, ghouls wouldn't have any use for it anyway. Okay, there's the reactor. Uh, I don't think we want to go in there at the moment. We'll explore the rest of the town, see if there's anything of interest. Yeah, definitely don't like people from Vault City. I'll take the Turkey. They doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to be a big city anyway. So I don't think we'll find many shops here. Certainly not weapons store and things like that. Special light stores, I mean. You enter the gecko. Okay. Survival gear locker. Hello there, Persit Crump here, master merchant in this locality. But you can call me just plain old Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everybody does. Now, what can I do for for? Uh, what's going on in this town? Not a whole lot new here in town. I hear Woos drew some newbie out of a black dahlia the other, like black orchid the other day. <laughs> anyway. That other than that, my friend Woody is gone, gone and gone missing. Well, tell me more about Woody. 
Well, you see, I had a friend named O. Woody. That Woody, he can sleep like nobody I ever did see. What's worse, he likes to travel, really likes to kick up the dust that one does. Okay. Well, that ain't so much of a problem round here, that is. But last I heard, Woody was going to take a stroll over to the den. You know what the den is. Yeah, I know what the den is. Well, anyhow, like I, I've been saying, that ain't so much of a problem round Gecko, but you see, people in other parts ain't so used to the way we look. So, can't you put two and two together? I'm worried that Woody might have been taking himself a nap in the den. It's a long trip after all, and then they would have buried the po po poor cars alive. I need someone to go look for, look for him there, and, well, I miss him, that's why. Percy blinks moistly at you. Oh, I see you when I know what's in it for you. This is usually a part where I get more interest is tell on. Well, I know where I can get hold of a heck of a lot of pre-war stock. Genuine wine red eggs right away. Don't do me no good, you know how, but I figure that ought to be worth stumping something to a smoothie like you. You wanna take the job for me or not? Yes, I'll do it. I'll get back to you. I'll I'll want to see what he has to sell. Let me see what you got. Ooh, not any use to us. I want to see the general price level. Okay, pretty cheap. So this is a good place to barter anyway. We'll get rid of some of our excess crap. We have two ropes for some reason, but we're not. Weight is not a problem for us, so 